Hi, my name is Sam Sandoval. I'm a faculty and an extension specialist here at UC Davis. So, uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to keep pesticides out of water. So, let's start with pesticides. In fact, let's start actually with integrated pest management. So, integrated pest management is a series of practices that we do to control pesticides. Some of these practices can be agricultural in terms of actually rotating the different crops that we grow in our, in, in our fields. Uh, some of them actually can be biocontrols. So we can use, <clears throat> for instance, sheep to eat all the wheat in our, uh, in our fields. Um, also, we can apply specific chemicals to control pesticides. So what type of pesticides or chemical we apply on uh, our fields, on our backyard? We can apply herbicides, insecticides, fungicides, just to mention a few. Um, we can apply it again, and this can be uh, for organic or, or conventional growth. Um, <clears throat> how do we apply them? Well, we can actually mix it in the soil and leave it there. Sometimes we apply it uh, like that. Sometimes we actually uh, dissolve the pesticides uh, as we are applying our irrigation. That can be another way. The other one is that we can just actually mix it with water and spray it to, um, into our fields, into our uh, backyard. So, <clears throat> again, from this uh, question of how to keep pesticides out of water, so where does the uh, pesticides can end up? So pesticides can end up in the river or in the aquifers. Um, how, how can they end up either? How do we know that it will end up in the aquifers or in the rivers? So then we need to, to keep an eye on what are the different characteristics. Let me explain you. Let me explain you the characteristics of the pesticides so we can have a good, uh, a good idea where will, that, will, where will the pesticide will end up, in the aquifer or in the river. So let's talk about two specific characteristics of the pesticides, solubility and persistence in the environment. So let's talk about solubility, which is basically how likely is the pesticides to dissolve, to get mixed with water. So as, as the pesticide is, have good, um, is mixing quite well with water, um, that specific pesticide will, will travel where the water is traveling. Um, as we are applying pesticides, as we're applying pesticides in our, uh, uh, in our either backyard, in our fields, and this pesticide is soluble, the, the pesticide will travel with the water. If, if, the, if the plants, if the roots of the plants do not take that water from the irrigation, it will continue infiltrated until it reach the aquifer. Um, so this can happen basically with two different um, actions, with two different phenomena. Number one is for excessive irrigation where the plants are not able to take this one or for heavy rain. If there was already pesticide there or were applying pesticides with excessive irrigation, that will that pesticides will travel with the water and reach, if it is not taken by the plants, it will reach the uh, aquifer. Um, why is why is important that we keep these pesticides out of the aquifers, out of the groundwater? Well, um, the water coming out of the tap of, of your house, the water that you're drinking, the water that you're uh, taking a shower that you're using for cooking, usually in cities, comes out of the groundwater. So it's very important to keep pesticides out of, out of the groundwater because that's the water that is reaching our homes. That's why it's important to keep pesticides from our backyard, from our fields, out of the, out of the groundwater. Now, we talked about the first characteristic of the pesticide, solubility. Now let's talk about the second characteristic of the uh, pesticide, which is Persistence, persistence in the environment. So, if 
when, when we are talking about persistence is how likely is the pesticides to degrade. If it is taking a lot of time to degrade, it will, it will be in the environment the longer. The longer it is in the environment, it's more likely that it will end up either in the river or in the aquifers. Usually these pesticides that have a long um, half life, a long persistence, they bind or they get attached to the soil particles. When they get attached to the soil particles, they are just kind of hanging in there, they are just sitting in there. When we have again heavy rainfall or when we have an irrigation in excess, that will actually move water. Uh, we're gonna have a surface runoff. We're gonna have water moving through the surface and again, as the water is moving through the surface, it will be picking up all these different soil particles. That's how these pesticides will move into the environment, by the water washing up, moving all these uh, um, uh, pesticides either. To the uh, river or infiltrated into the aquifer. Which as we have seen in previous videos, everything is connected. So if it reaches the aquifer, it is very likely that it will reach the river. So um, why is this important? Why, why do we need to care about this? Basically, um, some of the practices that we have um, we should keep pesticides out of our rivers because that's when we have, um, that's where we want to protect our environment. That's the, the uh, to protect our recreational activities. Every time that you go hiking or have a, a specific activity in, in a reservoir or in a lake, um, you're being in contact with everything that is coming into that specific water body. And as you're swimming or you're fishing, um, or you're just passing over the, the water, um, you're being in contact with all these different pesticides. So, um, what are the things uh, that we can do to keep pesticides out of water? Um, Some of the main drivers are heavy rain or irrigation. In the case of heavy rain, what can we do? Take a look at the weather forecast. If you are seeing that there is actually um, uh, rain coming, um, do not apply pesticides before heavy rain. Why? Because that is likely to end up moving the pesticides into the rivers or into the aquifers. Similarly, if you're gonna be uh, doing any irrigation practice, take a look at or consider not to apply any pesticides before any heavy irrigation. Why? Because again, it's very likely that the pesticides will be carried with the water um, to the aquifer or to the river. Uh, and last but not least, it's very important that you actually read the label of the pesticides. Um, in, for applying pesticides in the farms, that is actually a mandate. For applying pesticides in our homes, I strongly encourage you to apply to read the label. Why? because we do not want to over apply pesticides in our, in, in our backyard, in our front yard. Why? Because remember, um, that water will end up in a place that actually that's where we are actually taking that water to come back to our homes and use it for drinking, use it for washing our clothes, taking a shower. Thank you.